knapsack problem given n items with weights w1 to wn values v1 to vn and the knapsack capacity of w we have to find the most valuable subset of the items that fit into the knapsack we have to fill the objects or items in bag such that the total value is maximized let us consider this example there are four items these are the weights of those four items and these are the values the capacity of the bag is 5 if we are following the dynamic programming method whenever we take an object we should consider all the objects before it as well first row and first column will be 0 because the weight will be 0 now consider the first object whose weight is w1 is equal to 2 it can be filled only when the capacity is 2 so write the value v1 of the first element under 2 write 12 here this is 0 I am considering only the first object as of now so even if the capacity of the bag is increasing we write 12 throughout that is v1 next object weight w2 is equal to 1 and value is 10 this object can fit into the bag when the capacity is 1 so i can write the value 10 of item 2 here i already told that we have to consider the previous objects as well so whichever has the maximum value we have to take that among item 1 and 2 though the value of item 1 is higher in this position where the capacity is 1 only item 2 can fit here so I have written the value of item 2 that is 10 coming to the next value that is when capacity is 2 now I need to consider both the objects the first object has weight 2 second object has weight 1 I can fit either one of these over here but I can see that the value of uh, item 1 is higher so I choose item 1 write its value over here when the capacity of the bag is 3 I can fit both these items because w1 plus w2 is equal to 3 so add the values of both items and write it over here similarly when the capacity is 4 and 5 I can fit both the items 22 22 now let's consider the third item as well when the capacity is 1 among these three items I can fill only the second item so write the value of second item 10 when the capacity is 2 I can fill the first item or the second one the value of first one is higher so I write that when the back capacity is 3 I have the option of filling the third item alone or the first and the second item together I see that if I fill first and second item the combined value will be 22 which is higher so I can add these two items the same process continues to fill the table as shown here this was using dynamic programming and it is a bottom-up approach it goes on filling the table with solutions to all smaller sub problems some of these smaller problems or calculations are often not necessary to avoid this we need a method that would solve only sub problems that are necessary and it does so only once memory function method does just that it uses top down approach but it uses the table same as that of bottom up approach initially all entries are marked null indicating that they haven't been calculated while calculating it checks the corresponding entry in the table first if it is not null it simply retrieves from the table else it computes using the recursive call and then the result is entered in the table 
This is the algorithm memory function knapsack. Let's call it MFK. If f of i j is less than 0, then if i is less than weights of i, then value is equal to MFK of i minus 1 comma j. Otherwise, value is equal to maximum of MFK of i minus 1 comma j and value of i plus mfk of i minus 1 comma j minus weights of i then put the value to f of ij then return f of ij we need to remember these two formula throughout our calculations we start with the last value and then backtrack and find out solutions to only those sub problems that are necessary let's start with the last value that is mfk of 4 comma 5 initially all the values are set to minus 1 so is this value so f of 4 comma 5 is equal to minus 1 the first condition is checking if this value is less than 0 yes it is less let's check the next condition j is less than weights of i this is i this is j so 5 less than weight of i weight of 4 is 2 5 less than 2 is wrong so we perform the else part value will be maximum of mfk of 3 comma 5 i minus 1 is 3 j is 5 comma value of i is 15 plus mfk of i minus 1 3 comma j minus weight of i that is 5 minus weight of i is 2 it will be max of mfk of 3 comma 5 comma 15 plus mf k of 3 comma 3 so we'll be taking the maximum value among these two now let's take mfk of 3 comma 5 the algorithm is recursively called so this time it is f of 3 comma 5 the value is minus 1 initially which is less than 0 correct then check if j is less than weight 5 less than weight of 3 is 3 5 less than 3 wrong so value will be max of mfk of 2 comma 5 comma the value of i is v3 20 plus mfk of i minus 1 that is 2 comma j minus weights of i 5 minus weight of i is 3 it will be max of mfk of 2 comma 5 comma 20 plus mfk of 2 comma so for finding out the value for mfk of 3 comma 5 we need to find the maximum among these two values and assign it to mfk of 3 comma 5 the algorithm calls itself recursively as shown here we need to find out all these values mfk of 1 comma 5 mfk of 1 comma 4 plus 10 all these and then go on finding the maximum among the two values till we reach the final point i'll show for one value mfk of 1 comma 5 we'll be considering the second case this will be max of mfk of 0 comma 5 comma 12 plus mfk of 0 comma 5 minus 2 mfk of 0 comma 3 as we saw in the table when the weight was 0 it is 0 so 12 plus 0 is 12 
maximum among 0 and 12 is 12. So therefore MFK of 1 comma 5 is 12. Similarly we find out MFK of 1 comma 4 to be 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. MFK of 1 comma 2 is 12. MFK of 1 comma 1 was found out to be 0. 10 plus 0 is 10. MFK of 1 comma 3 is 12. MFK of 1 comma 2 is 12. 10 plus 12, 22. MFK of 2 comma 0 is 0. 20 plus 0, 20. Here maximum of 12 and 22 will be 22. Maximum of 12 and 10 will be 12. This value becomes 20 plus 12 that is 32. Maximum of 22 and 32 is 32. Maximum of 22 and 20 is 22. This value will be 15 plus 22 that is 37. Finally, maximum of 32 and 37 is 37. 37 becomes the maximized value that can fit into the knapsack. To summarize, we started with the topmost value that is MFK of 4,5. But to find out that, we had to find the solutions to many sub-problems. The algorithm was called recursively and we found the value for each of these sub-problems. We found the maximum among the two values. Finally, we found the maximized value to be 37. This is how the table looks after performing the memory function knapsack algorithm. You can see that we did not calculate all the values of the table, just the ones that were necessary. The number of computations was reduced to 11.